Hello Caravan. It's been a pretty good week for Caravan Sports, especially Caravan Football. Um, Bryce, so let's get into Caravan Football first. So, Malcolm had a pretty decent win against Ben Academy, blowing them out like 48 to 13. Now there was now there was a few um turnovers um in a pick six and and Daniel Taylor's fumble kept the game pretty close. But however, we unexpectedly came and responded with over twenty five points, like twenty seven I think. Yeah, I think twenty seven. Including two rush down two touchdowns from Jack Elliott. What what do you have to say about this game? Well, it was a pretty impressive win for Mount Carmel, especially after uh, a couple turnovers in the first half that kind of kept the game close. I think we really showed that we were the more dominant team over Bennett. We took care of business in that game, and it will help us prepare for the tougher games coming down the stretch because we got Rice, we got Joey Catholic, and we have obviously that big end-of-season clash with Loyola. So I think it's a great win to continue the momentum of the season and also like what I saw from Emmett Dowling in garbage time because he's going to be very important as we go through the season. Bishop, can you tell us about what happened with Jack Elliott? And so Jack Elliott, it looks like Jack Elliott will be out um, due to an injury. So um, we're just trying to like preserve him for college and the rest of the season with big games against teams like Loyola, at home especially. But um, we, I think Mount Carmel needs to figure out a way to um, win without Jack Elliott. Um, yeah, and Emmett Dowling is going to spearhead that brother of Blaney Dowling, son of Jim Dowling. He'll get the start for the caravan going down to Pulaski on Friday night. He led a touchdown drive and looked pretty solid. He brings some of the same traits that Jack does. Very physical runner, tough. So I think he's ready for this and that he's really going to help the caravan through these couple games that Dak's out. And as for Rice, they're 2-3 two on, two on, on the season. They had a rough start. They lost three straight games against rivals Marist, who they just haven't been, a, been able to figure out over these past five seasons. They lost to Rita, a very good Rita team, and they lost to Lola. But they just completely – demolished St. Pat's last week and they'll be motivated to get their season back on track and be a conference rival in us. So it's a super big game against them. And just excited to see how Emmett does in his first career start with Jack Andrew. Yeah, well Bryce, come on. let's move on to soccer. Um we've had a pretty tough loss to Saint Lawrence yesterday in Burbank. Um we did have a good weekend um, in Bettendorf, Iowa, though. We went 4-0 playing some of the top soccer teams in the Midwest. Um, I think that was pretty important. Um, soon got to have a break and stuff. Enjoy playing soccer. Um, and they did pretty well. Um, so and We're going to be broadcasting a game against DePaul College Prep on Thursday which might be today if you're listening to this on Thursday. Uh, it's going to be on the Caravan Broadcast Network. It's a big game. DePaul College Prep is 8-3-2. and two. They're 2-3-1 and one in conference play, and they're a formidable opponent, so I'm excited to see what we can do, especially coming off that tough loss to Lawrence because obviously they're such great rivals, but still have a lot of faith in the soccer team, what they can do. And got some big games coming up. Um, DePaul, De La Salle. And then we'll start getting into playoffs. Yeah, we just need to make sure our soccer team maintains energy, use on the agility of a soccer ball. Should be good um, for that game. Um, but elsewhere in the CCL province, Catholic and DLSA are still at the top of the conference. That they've been doing really well. Um, can you can you talk to us more on that? Yeah, I believe Providence Catholic is 4-0-2, and, and De La Salle has also been doing really well. They're, I think they're ranked sixth in Illinois by Max Preps. So there's some formidable rivals that the caravan will have to be aware of coming into the season. But we're also one of the top teams. So I think we'll have a really strong finish to the season. Excited to see what they do against DePaul 
on Thursday. Yeah, we just need pride. We just need to stick to the goals. Um, take yeah, just take pride in that. Um, we got skill. We got good players. Um, they have a good coach. Um, yeah, so I think we should be good. As for golf, um, it's regional will start today. Um, hope we win. It's gonna be a pretty good golf invitational. So we have we have uh, Swartz returning from sickness. Um, I wish that man good luck. And we have Polato, Centino Polato. He he shot a twelve over par, and Mick Cleveland shot fourteen over par, and Mill Necky shot twenty one over par. And all those scores were in the Rice Ridge Invitational, which happened on Sunday. Had a narrow. Well, we competed with Ignatius, Rita, and Rice in that tournament. Finished fourth out of those teams, but shot a 58 over par total. So that's going to give us a good finish going into regionals. I'm excited to see what this team can do, especially with Michael Scores returning from sickness. Yeah, um, I think I think off. I think it's gonna could be good invitation. We got people coming back. They're ready to play. I think they're locked in for this invitational. Um, I think they're gonna get better scores. They've been progressing through this golf season, so I think they did come a long way. Even Shout out to the esports team as they start their season. Yeah, today they're gonna play St. Pat's in Overwatch. So good luck to them, and hopefully that's gonna be a good start to their season. Yeah. Good luck to the um, freshmen and sophomores for the cross country meet tomorrow. Um, hope they hope they do well, and um, yeah, I think that's. Uh, yeah, tomorrow Thursday we run in Tinley Park, just a freshman and sophomore meet. So we've been training really really hard this week. So hope that will pay off as we go into that meet. And also, we run on Saturday for all levels, varsity, fresh off, and open race on Saturday. Um, so I'm excited to see how that shakes out. Uh, that day is actually my dad's birthday, so I hope I can run a great race for him on that day. Uh, yeah, so excited to see how this week goes cross-country-wise. All right, thanks for tuning in, Caravan. Um, we'll see what happens. And we'll we'll see you next week.